Why the hell would she run? She's afraid, Ray. Doesn't make any sense. Fear never does. You, you don't have any Kleenex. It's okay. God, is he really dead? Yeah. Look, Eddie was a real son of a bitch. He deserved worse. Dean is gone from I know this. Okay, look. You go to the cops. You... Oh my God, my father. You'll get a slick lawyer. I'm sure he can get you manslaughter. No, he was trying to kill me. It, it was self-defense. Did he have a knife out? Did he have a gun at your head? No, but... Did he have any sort of weapon at all? No. Well, then, honey... You, you can't prove that he was going to do anything other than slap you around. What are you talking about? <sighs> okay. <clears throat> you kill a guy because he's slapping you around. That's manslaughter. Okay, look, why don't you call your dad? No, no, I can't. I can't. Okay, okay. Uh, maybe it'll be okay. Yeah, how? Well, one thing I know is the cops. Now, if you give them something, they'll give you something. What do I have to give them? Frankie's list. The matchbook. You give them that, and I bet you they'll cut your break. A matchbook? This is all about some stupid matchbook? No, kid, this is about power. Whoever has that list can name their price. Uh, listen, do you know where it is? I, I mean, do you know anything? Come on, do you remember? And... Kleenex. Wait, there was a matchbook in the Kleenex when I dumped out my purse at the hotel. Oh, then we're okay. That's correct. Come on. Okay. How you doing, young lady? You having a good time? Heads up. Oh, no, not again. Taxi! No way. The nearest hotel. Quickly. You got a light? Jeez, I gotta cut down. Yeah, thanks. How do you know they're going to the hotel? Because that's where the list is. We searched the entire room. Now, if it was at the club, Janice would have gone back for it. Eddie was after the purse, and Christina dumped the purse out in her hotel room. It's the only place it could be. It's not there. Not now, but it was. And if Eddie didn't take it or Janice didn't take it, then somebody else must have taken it. There's no one else. We're all out of bad guys. Tissues, Ray. She had tissues in her purse. She wiped her lipstick off with it when I walked her to her room. Where were the tissues? We're hunting tissues now? I dumped my purse out right here. Mm -hmm. uh, it's not here. Do you have any candles? How did you get these? Listen, kid. I am losing my patience now. Where is it? You got one chance to live. Come on. The housekeeper. The housekeeper, she was cleaning my room. Okay. Okay, come on.
Thanks for the candle. No trouble at all. There's nothing here. The housekeeper. Hey, Frazier. Now, where did they go? The basement. Do the public elevators go down there? No, just this one. Ray? No, we are 18 floors up. Just hold your elbows out at the side. It'll slow your descent. My descent? Frazier, you cannot go down there without backup. Ah, the most annoying man in the world. I have no idea. I don't want that answer. I want to know where they are. Well, you're really talking to the wrong person. You hear that, little girl? Your little red friend here is dead. She doesn't know where they are either. And I have no further use for you. You can't hurt him. Run. No. Come here. I said run. You told me to stop running. Yes, but I was talking about running away from the problems with your father. This is about running away from someone who quite probably will shoot you. That's an entirely different thing. I did this. This is my problem, and I'm not running. You want to die, kid? You can't shoot her. Watch me. Oh, no, that's a 9 millimeter Beretta. It carries a 15-round clip. You've already shot 14 times. Bull. No, you have, honestly. Follow this through. One, two, six in the incinerator, seven in the corridors, one just... All right, all right! And what this basically means is that you have one bullet left, and then you're defenseless. Now, I don't think you can afford to use it on her, so she's going to walk away now. No, I'm not. Have you ever said something that you truly regretted? I can't leave you here. I'll trade you for him. Throw him over here. What am I, stupid? I said throw him over here, kid, now! Well, I don't think she likes being called kid. All right. You let him walk away, or I eat it. What? Would you please run? I can't. I'm too scared. Choose! Throw him, or I shoot him. Fine. I'm eating it. You put that in your mouth, and he's dead. Chicago? What do I do? Oh, go ahead, eat it. Ah! Nice bluff. Thank you. Bye bye, Red. Perfect tactical delay, Ray. Yeah, thank you very much, Frazier.
the list. my watch. Oh, good night, Chicago. Good night. Oh, you know, I... I never asked you, why do you call me Chicago? Oh, well, there's somebody to babysit me in each city, and it's a lot easier than remembering names. Uh. Good night. No, Dave. Hi. Oh. What am I, uh... Oh. Terrific staff they've got here. We're gonna be late. You don't expect me to go to the ball without an escort, do you? Oh, well, I, I'd love to, but I think if I showed up with you, your father would have me cashiered. We've all got choices to make, Fraser. Fraser? Just like your mother. May I have the honor? Where'd you learn to dance like that? It's all part of the job. Make one mistake and we're on security detail. Lewis, did I tell you to open your big mouth? Did I tell you to swear on your honor the matches didn't exist? Well, he said a good suit. <clears throat> you own that? What, you think they rent things like this? I think I don't want to stand next to you. Like the suit. Thanks, ma'am.
American ambassador's son's been waiting to dance with you all night. I told him to bug off. He had a boyfriend. Oh, well, it's okay. I've actually been looking forward to dancing with him. Hey. Hey. So Welsh finally gives me the day off for solving the biggest case of my career, and I'm delivering casual wear. I'm confused, Ray. I didn't call you. Ah, put it on. I'm taking you out. We're celebrating. All right. So, everything work out with Miss Muffet? Well, I hope so. You gonna run away again? Oh, probably. But you know, sometimes if you stand still, the world comes to you. Oh, damn, there he is. I promised the Latvian ambassador I'd spend some time with him tonight. Him? Nope. It's just you and me tonight, kiddo. Uh, no, I mean, we could go out with them. Uh, him. I couldn't ask you to do that. Ask me. No. Sweetie, we haven't seen each other at all. I haven't spent any time with you. I want to be with you. No. I want to spend time with you. Dad, I understand sometimes I'm, I'm going to need to do stuff like mm -hmm. this, you know? It's, it's just something I'm, I'm going to accept. That's okay. I'll get the car. High winds, northern sky will carry you away You know you have to leave here You wish that you could stay There's four directions on this map But you're only going one way To south That's the way I'm going To south Why the hell would she run? She's afraid, Ray. Doesn't make any sense. Fear never does. You, you don't have any Kleenex. It's OK. God, is he really dead? Yeah. Look, Eddie was a real son of a bitch. He deserved worse. He and his girlfriend, I know this. OK, look, you go to the cops. You... Oh my god, my father. You'll get a slick lawyer. I'm sure he can get you manslaughter. No, he was trying to kill me. It, it was self-defense. Did he have a knife out? Did he have a gun at your head? No, but... Did he have any sort of weapon at all? No. Well, then, honey... You, you can't prove that he was going to do anything other than slap you around. What are you talking about? <sighs> okay. <clears throat> you kill a guy because he's slapping you around. That's manslaughter. Okay, look, why don't you call your dad? No, no, I can't. Okay, okay. Maybe it'll be okay. Yeah, how? Well, one thing I know is the cops. Now, if you give them something, they'll give you something. What do I have to give them? Frankie's list. The matchbook. You give them that, and I bet you they'll cut your break. A matchbook? This is all about some stupid matchbook? Now, okay, kid, this is about power. Whoever has that list can name their price. Listen, do you know where it is? I mean, do you know anything? Come on, do you remember? And... Kleenex. Wait, there was a matchbook in the Kleenex when I dumped out my purse. The high purse out right here. Mm -hmm. uh, it's not here. Do you have any candles? How did you get these? Listen, kid, I am losing my patience now. Where is it? You got one chance to live. Come on. The housekeeper. The housekeeper, she was cleaning my room. Okay. Okay, come on. Ah. Uh. Oh, then 
we're okay. Let's go. Come on. Okay. How you doing, young lady? You having a good time? Heads up. Oh no, not again. Taxi! <laughs> no way. The nearest hotel. Quickly. You got a light? Geez, I gotta cut down. Yeah, thanks. How do you know they're going to the hotel? Because that's where the list is. We searched the entire room. Now, if it was at the club, Janice would have gone back for it. Eddie was after the purse, and Christina dumped the purse out in her hotel room. It's the only place it could be. It's not there. Not now, but it was. And if Eddie didn't take it, or Janice didn't take it, then somebody else must have taken it. There's no one else. We're all out of bad guys. Tissues, Ray. She had tissues in her purse. She wiped her lipstick off with it when I walked her to her room. Where were the tissues? We're hunting tissues now? I, I don't 